A heroic man stops the sexual assault of a 15-year-old girl on a New York bus and is rewarded by being placed in handcuffs! Ooh. Yes, so today in very disappointing news, Moisey Morancy was riding the bus in New York City when he noticed that a man was making a 15-year-old girl very uncomfortable. He posted something to his Facebook that we're going to quote. He says, at first he started caressing her hand and I saw how uncomfortable it made her, so she let go and put her hands in her pocket. He then proceeded to forcibly do it again. In the process of doing so, he hit my knee and I told him, yo bro, don't touch me. Then he started getting aggressive and saying, I can do whatever I want, you black piece of shit. Shh. So this escalates to the point where we are now going to play a video of uh, Moisey Morancy, the man in the video, restraining the man that was assaulting the 15-year-old girl. Let's take a look. Did I touch a girl without her permission? This is what I'm going to do to you. Don't you ever do that shit again. You hear me? You hear me? No, no, don't touch her again. Don't touch her her again. You record this shit. Record this. No, no. You he was touching a little girl no, no, no. and I was defending her. No, listen to me. Oh, shit. Hey, girl, they not go. Sit down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to do it. No, fuck. You dropped him, bro. I was the one who's screaming. No, fuck. You can't do anything. 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 Right here. You, you tried to kill me, girl. You tried to kill me. No, I did not. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, you a liar, boy. So obviously you can see in the video that as soon as police came to break up the scene, they started arresting uh, Marancy as well. Uh, we, okay, we'll get in. We'll get into that. Uh, but then he was released. Um, he says, "Quote: Shortly after this black police officer, who was the sergeant, opened the door, congratulated me, and ordered to release the handcuffs. To see a black man in a position of power right the wrongs gave me a little bit of hope for the NYPD. As I always say, not all cops are bad. The good ones just need to step it up." He posted a photo with the police officers after the whole situation was cleared up. But th this situation has caused. Um, you know, it's caused a lot of discussions on the internet about how this was handled. Do you think that this was handled effectively, Amir? Do you think the police were just By responding the to the situation that they knew at the time? Or do you Partly, think that they acted but too soon? I don't think they listen to what this guy is saying. They just see like a black guy for the most part. And mm. if you just sat there and listened, this guy wasn't a flight risk. He wasn't trying to run away from the scene. He was there trying to explain to them what happened. Yeah, he definitely wasn't. There's a no reason you. There's no reason to cuff him and put him in a car. Yeah. And there's there's a girl right there too that was just assaulted. Talk to her too. Right, and I think that what you you can kind of tell from the video is that the girl is understandably really you know shaken up and she is in shock over yeah. what the, the terrible thing that just happened to her, um, and. It just, it just is so frustrating to see this guy sort of pleading with the police. He was trying to rectify the situation. He was the one restraining the guy. Yeah. And yes, things escalated and they got physical. Okay. Um, it wasn't that he instigated it. This, there was a man that was assaulting a girl first. And yeah. I feel like that was sort of brushed over in this situation. But then at the same time, I'm thinking to myself, well, I'm not a police officer. All you can see is this guy restraining this other guy. What do you do? Like, I mean, you have to react to the situation as you are presented it. I do think that it's really inappropriate that he was placed in handcuffs. Yeah, and if you read his side of the story, uh, the guy lunged at him, okay. which is when he defended himself. Mm -hmm. So he didn't just assault this guy. And yeah. even then, like, I think that's okay if you see a crime being perpetrated. Like, mm -hmm. some guy is touching inappropriately, appropriately a girl. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to, you have to step in. Yeah, and I, I think. What are that you supposed to do? You're, it's a it's a good Samaritan right, right there. Right, I think that a bonus in this situation was that it was being recorded. I think yeah. that that's I I think that that's an amazing consequence of the technology technological age that we are living in today, where uh, there is um, sort of a third party viewing what happens, what goes down, because it it makes me wonder uh, what if what if it hadn't been recorded. Um, yeah. who, who knows? Yeah. You know, I, I do think I'm, that adds a level of accountability. I'm just glad that, I mean, it, this didn't turn out worse for him, for Morancy. Yeah, but it's got to be so disheartening to it do is, the right thing, sure. to step up. You know, I know, you know, I, I know plenty of uh, 
my friends, women and girls, who have been um, touched inappropriately or harassed on public transportation in New York even, um, and just they, they would want for someone to step up and to recognize what's happening. No but a lot does. of times you don't want to, a lot yeah. of times people don't want to say anything because they don't want to get involved because maybe they're afraid that, you know, they could get put in handcuffs or that, you know, things could escalate and they could get out of control and, you know, no one's going to believe them or, I, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sticky situation and I think that for this guy to step up and then, again, be sort of rewarded for for his heroism with, uh, you know, a, a photo and then, you know, a, a stay in the back of a police car is disheartening, but... Yeah, the photo part is like, come on. You guys were just cuffing him and putting him in there. This guy strikes me as a really positive individual. He, is, yeah, he sure. strikes me as uh, incredibly resilient, and I think that that works in the story's favor in this case, because there are a lot of people that might have been put in this exact same situation that would have been very bitter and cynical to the system, yeah. you know, saying, I stepped up and this is what happened to me. I wouldn't recommend it. Whereas, uh, you know, it seems like Morancy is, uh, he, I think he was on his way to his album release or his mixtape mm -hmm. release or something like that when this went down. And um, he, he seems just really excited for his future and that this was just another story that he has to tell. But I don't know, if it, if it had been me, I, I'm not sure how I would have responded. But we want to know how you would respond. In the comment section below, what do you think about this story? Were you surprised? Do you think that there is a certain racial bias that happened here? Uh, have you ever witnessed something and stepped up in a public situation? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time on Pop Twitter.